see. So, picked up my silver, the Bantec 1 and 1 8. Glory. That's huge. Ten quarters is about the right there. So, yep. Great step. 15 pieces of that. They weigh about 125 pounds a sheet. And I got all my lovely foam. It's a mixture of three quarters and one inch pieces. Those are the one inch pieces. Um, and then I'm just cutting them to 14 and a half inches. A little bit over that so they kind of smoosh in. Down here for my foundation. And we'll probably put about one and a half inches down here. In Texas, the, the climate really doesn't get too cold in the winter. So this is a nice wind and thermal block and then it'll be a little bit of an air space between that and the subfloor um, and so we're going to put down I think what we're going to do is put down these panels on the insulation then we're going to spray foam around inside the border all along the edge and then stick another panel on kind of sandwiching it in place and then the uh, the spray foam will kind of just seal all the edges so that's that's the plan we're going to be doing that along all of this Yep. Ready to get going. On top of the deck, um, putting down the polystyrene foam. Um, it's pretty easy. All I'm doing to get a nice uniform layer across here, because this is just going on the runners, is I'm just using a 2x2 two two stick. 2x4 two would work as well. I'm just putting it down and lowering one corner in first and then just on it and just stepping down. stepping down and that's nice and flat across there and I just go to the next one and do the same. So yeah, one corner goes in first and then step on the opposite side. But uh, I cut these a little bit a little bit wider than 14 and a half inches just so that they, um, they'd stick a little bit better and close off the gap. You can see there's uh, there's no no gap in between there, so just a little bit more air tightness. Um, just don't cut it too much wider, or else you're not going to be able to fit your panels down in there. David and I are out here putting the foam down, and so what we're doing is we are putting down one layer with the foil facing down, and then we are coming back and we are spraying with great stuff, whatever kind of foam you want, I guess just along the edges and then putting down another um, piece face up so the foil is up and just piecing together and smushing it down and moving on. Got the uh, foam down on it. Uh, just one thing to mention is that uh, when you put the foam down um, and then put the um, big stuff or the good great stuff into it and then put the other foam down it's gonna push out the bottom a little bit so after you have put that all down come back after like three five minutes and push from the bottom especially along the edge there wasn't any bold happening where there were the wood runners but along the edges especially braces in between the two befores so that there's no room of the 2x4. I didn't think there was going to be, but um, it is recommended. Um, we're just laying them in flat like this. Like I said, I don't think there's going to be a problem with um, rotation. But, um, yeah, just to make sure that everything stays the right way. So, yeah. Dave is hammering them all into place, and we're just putting them a little bit below what would be flush because they're not actually supporting the subfloor. They're just seams from moving. So yeah, about 45 pieces of 14 and a half inch. And going back with no gun and shooting them into place. So we have gotten the Advantic flooring down on one part. Um, we just have it overhanging here and we're just going to cut it off with a circular saw. It's about 18 inches overhang. Um, and then we'll have full of these here and then another 32 inches. We didn't want to put start with a full piece of 48 inches and then another 48 inches and then have I think it would have been like 16 inches 
um, just overhanging the edge. Just didn't seem like that would be structurally um, as good as doing 32 inches, 48 inches, 32 inches. Um, so yeah, there's going to be waste that way, but it, this is the foundation, and you really don't want to take any chances with, with it. So this Advantech is pretty pretty amazing. Um, you can see the thickness of it. Um, it's almost as thick as it's one and one eighths uh, Advantech. And like I said, this is overhanging the edge of the two by four right here, 18 inches. And yet when I stand on this edge, it doesn't even go down. You can see I'm standing on the edge. And it's not um, you can see, whoop, you can see that's how far it's it's overhanging the edge, and even with my weight up here, this stuff doesn't budge. Um, also, I wanted to give a little demonstration, because wood likes to suck up water. That's what wood does, that's what it was made to do. But when you pour this water on here, if you can see that, it just all beads up. It's not even, uh... Not even being absorbed. This is amazing. So, anyways, this stuff is good flooring. They've got a lifetime warranty with it. Um, as long as you adhere it down and glue it, I think if the whole trailer were to fall apart, this stuff would still be standing. So, yeah, this uh, this is one and one eighth, so it is thicker than the three quarter or the twenty three thirty second, but um, it's worth it. I think these were forty bucks a piece for this.